I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Good afternoon, YouTubers. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Mammoth Lakes has been having an earthquake swarm. So far in the last 24 hours, there's been 54. And these are all above sea level. Here we got one mile above sea level, half a mile above sea level, right at sea level. Um, another one half a mile above sea level. That's what the minus sign means. Uh, right at sea level. Let me see what else we got. This one here was 1.4 miles above sea level. 1.1 miles above sea level. Almost one and a half miles above sea level. The largest of the earthquakes was a magnitude 3.0. That was almost, not quite, a half a mile above sea level. What's concerning about this all these earthquakes have been right next to the Mammoth Lake Resurgent Dome. Yeah, they actually got some property right next to it. We got the uh, Hot Creek Trout Hatchery. Um, a Mammoth School. Now, this image here is from 2019. Looks like the school has been removed. And what else we got over here? The hatchery. I know the hatchery is over here. Um, as you know, in the past, uh, because of the gases that are coming up from Mammoth, um, several people have died. Um, they've died in the, the hot springs that are near here. Uh, we got the Hilton Creek Fault. And let me bring this out a little bit. This is uh, the area, the Long Valley Caldera. And like I said, all these um, earthquakes have been right next to the resurgent dome. The magma comes up under the ground, coming from, oh, southeast a little bit, following along these uh, fault zones right here. We have the Convict Creek Fault and the Laurel Fault. We also have the Mammoth Yosemite uh, airport in this location. About a year ago, I reported about the activity that had increased over here. And there was an area uh, near Mammoth Mountain where there was over, over 100 acres of recently uh, die-off of trees and dead trees. Uh, Horseshoe Lake also had um, some recent die-off of trees. And USGS knew in fact, it was the gases that were coming up, and you can't see CO2. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the area um, of some of the die-off. So I downloaded the data from two different stations. Here we got LRL, and we got MLAC. Uh, this one actually is picking up the earthquakes better. Probably because we got this mountain range in between. It's closer to this uh, Convict Creek fault zone. They're not fudging too badly about the size of the earthquake. They actually did two together. I've talked about how they've done that in the past to get magnitudes. But it's two different distinct earthquakes very close together. And so they just added it as one. And it comes in as a magnitude 3.14. Now, that earthquake was at 8.39 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there's actually been a lot more earthquakes than what they're reporting, which is 56, the most recent being a magnitude 1.3, which is this one right here. I'm going to show you what the monitor, the uh, stream view is showing, but that's what they're, that's the last one they reported being a 1.3 uh that would probably be um somewhere in here 
Okay, and this is what it's currently showing. You can see there's all kinds of earthquakes. 15 right here within a three hour period. But I come up with a magnitude 1.93. Let me bring it down. And they're saying it's a 1.3, but I got a 1.93. And it's not marked in red. Um, this one here at uh, 2038, they're saying is a magnitude 2.5. And that is exactly what I get. Let me show you the signature. And I'll bring it down. I get the same exact, yeah, 2.52. They don't ever put up the extra little point, but yeah. So they're not fudging about that one. I never took into consideration what percentage of them that they do fudge about. Okay, this on the left is LRL. Like I said, it um, hasn't been picking up the earthquakes, and I think that is because of that mountain range. Now see, this has got rounded tops. This is volcanic tremors, which means magma is moving through the system. And you can see how we got, if you got, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, let me make that larger. But it's, yeah, look at that. It's all through this area. Like I said, convict um, fault. Is where the magma comes up through the system and then goes up to the resurgent dome. And let's pull it down to uh, what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, see, again, rounded tops. So this is a good site to pull data to see the seismic signature and see what's going on with the uh, the flow of magma. Lava is called magma when it's still under the ground. I pulled the data for about, oh, um, not quite 24 hours. Let me bring this down. And then I'll pull it over. It looks like it started out, oh, uh, somewhere in here. Let's Let's pull this. Yeah, see, magma. And that's not good. It's coming in, pushing up the ground for the resurgent dome. That is not good. I am sure people at the airport would have felt this earthquake and people that could be working at the uh, hatchery felt this earthquake. And then we got a uh, private storage unit, it looks like. What does that say? Let me bring it up. So it shows again. Yeah, 24-hour storage Mammoth Lakes. Oh, and there's a, a gas, propane gas company there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right, let's pull this out. And... Okay, this is Mammoth Lakes. This is a town of Mammoth Lakes. What monitor we got there? That Yeah, that's the monitor that is picking up all these earthquakes the best. As of 2020, there was 8,263 people living there. And the mayor is Bill Saucer. The town is a base for Devil's Postpile National Monument. I think I covered that one time. Yeah, I did, because I got um, images of the rock formation. This is actually lava um, that fractured into um, hexagon shapes. And yeah, because of the movement of the ground, it's a lot of it's laying down. Yeah, real interesting rock formation there. There's the top of it. So can you imagine the amount of lava that flowed out to make this so tall? Here you can see the trees that were growing at the top. Let me bring this up for you. All right, and then using Google Earth, let's go to that location where that is at. Do, 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 right there. And we'll bring it out. And there you go. Devil's pile or post pile national monument 
Yeah, that was a lot of magma. And this over here is where the earthquakes are occurring. And that's the resurgent dome. Oh my goodness. I bet you the mayor is uh, taking a lot of phone calls. He's probably uh, chatting with USGS. He might be uh, reviewing his emergency evacuation plans. At least I hope he is, and I hope he's not gone on vacation. We'll have to keep an eye on this. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Always be prepared for a disaster. Have a plan. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.